interview ready with two of our winners. Thank you very much, Riv. Yes, I am here with two of the victorious immortals here. We've got Hoon and we've got Wild Turtle. Hooney, first things first, I have to ask you, coming to the third place match, the 3-0 stomp, how did it feel kind of vindicating yourselves from the semifinal? How does it feel bouncing back from that? Uh, yeah, it was kind of sad, of course, for third place. So it was just, I would say, first time for me because I was just winning when I was in EU. So it was kind of sad, but we, have, we still have to uh, play for fans and, you know, we have to win because we still have to prove we're not that big. And then next season, we're going to beat again every team. So we just prepare properly. And then, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I think we won pr uh, pretty easy. So Huni talked about preparing properly. Wild Turtle, I want to ask you, what was that preparation like, bouncing back from that loss to TSM? What did it look like this week? Well, the preparation was uh, a really long and hard process. Like, we knew we were going to lose a lot of games at the start because we're playing tank top. Huni's only played like three tanks in his life, and he played like all three of them this game or something like that. <laughs> and then, yeah, it was a really hard transition, but uh, I'm glad we were able to show we were able to play the meta, I guess. So Huni, I want to ask you about that then. What was the mindset from last week's champion select? Lucian, Top, Gangplank, Graves. Why were those the champions you played? Uh, to be honest, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was maybe uh, kind of overconfident, and I didn't prepare enough myself. That's why like, I was kind of being, uh, being behind meta. That's why we played kind of bad. And then for me, there was a lot of disadvantage. So yeah, it was, but personally, I think still, Demi's top is better than tank champion. You think there's things that are better than tanks? You just have to find them? To be honest, I want to say it like this way, but... Actually, tank is better this matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Wild Turtle, you got to show what a winning Lucian looks like, so congrats on that one. Talk to me about uh, the matchup you were up against uh, Matt and Piglet here, because Piglet's gotten so much praise. You've often been an overlooked AD carry, and you've gotten some respect now. So tell me sort of your individual play throughout this series and, and how you felt it went. Um, I think uh, me and Adrian played really well like in this series because Huni's obviously playing a tank and I can trust Huni to engage for me and uh, it's, it's really good. I think uh, in this meta it's more like uh, just teamwork and just playing with your team really well and I was able to show that, that I could play with my team really well this game. And you guys definitely played very well so we're looking forward to seeing you guys play in June in the summer split. Your goals are still worlds. How is it going to be the 18-0 this time around? Is that the summer split for Huni? How's summer split going to be for Immortals? Uh, this time we, we lost actually uh, semifinals. So from there we improve a lot and then we're not going to be like cocky or something overconfidence and then we prefer enough ourselves. So summer split is going to be like we're going to be way better, way more improved. And the, so we're going to finish without lose. You're going to finish without any losses, Huni. All right. Wild Turtle then, one more question for you then. Uh, tomorrow's matchup, TSM versus CLG, how do you feel it's going to go? Uh, TSM versus CLG, I would give it a TSM because they beat us, and I love TSM, so yeah. All right, Wild Turtle, thank you very much, guys. Congratulations on the third place victory. We'll see you in June in the summer split where you're not going to lose any games according to Huni. Thank you guys very much, and for now, we're going to throw it up the analyst desk to break down that series. Goodbye.